Hi, I'm Ann Borgad and I'm the Ward 5 City Councilor and welcome to Ward 5 in 10, the 47th Ward 5 in 10. It is Friday, November 8th, about 2 in the afternoon and it's a really bad hair day because it's cold and windy and everything else. We've just changed our clocks and I hope all of you have checked your smoke detectors because it's a very important time of year to do that. We're encouraging everyone to uh, get prepared for the winter months and I have a lot of information here, good, bad and important and in between. The bad part meaning that we've got to prepare for snow and that it gets dark much earlier. I want to thank the voters and volunteers that went out there on Tuesday election day. It was a terrific turnout despite the weather. So thank you, all of you that came out to vote and those that participated by volunteering and helping out the candidates. This is what it's all about. We're getting ready for Veterans Day 2019. Uh, Sunday, I'm sorry, uh, Monday the 11th is a holiday. City Hall will be closed, the schools will be closed, and other federal government and state government agencies. And I want to remind everyone that there is a parade that begins at 10 o'clock and it goes through a part of West Elm Street, down Arlington and out Belmont and on to Main Street and all around again. And the ceremony itself will be held inside the War Memorial Building which is dedicated to the veterans. That way everyone's nice and warm and comfortable. I hope that you join us. And those of you that are participating, if you're in the band or what have you, you need to be there at 9.30 to line up. Again, it's Veterans Day already. What happens after Veterans Day? I just have such a list here. Okay, on Wednesday, November 13th, the official birthday of City Hall, 125 years, there's a program for kids that are interested in learning about what's going on with City Hall, how it got there, and who started it, who designed it, and all kinds of other exciting stuff. There will be music. This is all free. begins at 4 p.m. inside City Hall, and there's going to be music, a uh, story, oh, and a huge cake that looks like City Hall that you get to eat. And it's just going to be a fun time between the Council on Aging uh, singers and the Cardinal Spelman High School Choir and special, uh, uh, what's this, oh, saxophonist Sean Henningsen. So you're going to have a lot of really great stuff going on here. This is all free and fun for everyone on Wednesday, November 13th. Okay, at City Hall. All right, next, believe it or not, we're going to be talking about the holiday parade. So I do want to remind people, let's pay attention because we all know that I was a little different on the holiday week of Thanksgiving. So I do want to mention too that the library has great art exhibits, a free concert on Saturday, November 16th, and also, oh, during the month, the month of, um, from Tuesday, November 12th to Monday, November 18th, if you bring in a food item, uh, or to, um, it'll be sufficient, or a couple of food items, depending on how much you owe on your, um, how would I say, late fees for books that will be um, deducted. So this food for fines happens twice a year, and thank you for participating. But what I was beginning to tell you too is there's a lot of activities on the week of uh, Thanksgiving, but the library does have different hours the week of Thanksgiving, naturally, so everyone else can enjoy it. So, which brings me to the holiday parade. Okay, the night before the holiday parade, now this is going to be held at the War Memorial Building, another free event. Okay, you're invited to attend. And uh, let's see, we've, now we've got the Broughton High Concert Choir. We have the Broughton Symphony. We just have a whole lot going on here. This begins at 6 p.m. Again, this is at the War Memorial Building. And that, my friends, is on West Elm Street, Again, where the parade starts on Monday. Whoop, like I said, we have a whole lot going on here. I'm Ian Borgat. I'm the Ward 5 City Councilor. And I can be reached at 774-297-4939 and at aborgat, A-B-E-A-U-R-E-G-A-R-D, at C-O-B-M-A dot U-S. Okay. 
Meanwhile, now we're going to the holiday parade here. Month of November goes like that. Of course, it gets dark early, gets colder. What can we do here? So now that we have what we've just talked about is the holiday parade all day, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, there's all kinds of free fun events going on. If it's free um, pictures with Santa at City Hall, to the parade that starts at 1 o'clock, to craft activities for the kids, beginning at 9 o'clock at the Broughton Main Library, and there will be also a free movie in the afternoon. I mean, there's just constant celebrating going on in downtown. Come and join the parade. It's the 33rd year of it. It's called Joyce for Toys. You can volunteer. You can have a float. You can be part of the whole thing. It is, you know, a great time whether you want to be the audience or whether you want to put um, a whole involvement in, in this you know, great event that happens every year. We also want to remind people of Fuller Craft Museum celebrating 50 years, and they have spectacular exhibits, and it's always free to the residents of Brockton, and they have continuous events taking place. We also want to remind everyone that uh, and congratulate the Broughton NAACP on 65 years of great um, activities and education opportunities and empowerment in the city of Broughton and in the greater com and in the surrounding communities. Congratulations on 65 years. They're going to have a huge event on um, Thursday. I'm sorry, Saturday, November 16th. And uh, I just want to congratulate Lynn Smith, who's going to be recognized for all her dedication and the history of um, Frederick Douglass and the contributions to our community. So this is, this is really pretty great here. And like I said, I want to make sure I'm saying all the things that are going on in November. And now I'll get down to the serious business. Sometimes we've got to talk about yard waste removal is still going on, and it'll still be going on from October 28th till December 13th once a week, okay, on your regular trash day. All right, also, they're talking, if you can imagine this, talking about Christmas tree pickup. We'll remind you about that later, but it starts December 30th. Okay, now they're telling people to pay attention to very important things when it comes to freezing pipes, et cetera, so check for leaks, check your water meters for those homeowners, and uh, also they're talking about uh, paying attention to winterizing your meters. Uh, you, you can contact them should you have any questions at 508-580-7810. And we're also talking to here, you know this more when it gets dark or early, about the street lights. So they always ask you if you're calling them again, 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, unless it's a holiday, 508-580-7810. We want to remind people too that if you can, put the poll number in the closest address and maybe the nearest, you know, or if you have a nearest cross street to a pole. And it doesn't hurt to give your name and phone number because that way they can contact you again to confirm because there's all, you know, all kinds of situations that can take place. Again, I always encourage people, they can be part of um, the community and in so many ways. So there's volunteering for fun things like the holiday parade and there's getting involved with boards. And for example, one of them that's looking at the Board of Trustees the Library has two spots to fill, and there's several other boards that are looking for individuals, commissions, committees, and other uh, situations. You can submit your resume and letter of interest, and don't, it doesn't, you know, hurt. I mean, granted, it goes to the mayor's office first, but people have so much talent in this community, and their contributions are vital. Okay, what I also want to let people know is, if we see snow, the winter parking ban means that from December 1st to April 1st, no parking on the even number side of the streets on all streets except those restricted to one side parking by regulation. Okay. And some instances, no parking on both sides of the following streets or part of the streets here. And the list is available online. And of those of you who would have received it, in your water bills, so I really cannot highlight that enough because they will tag and tow. Now remember, this was the winter parking ban, the snow emergency, parking during snow emergencies, availability at the um, 42 Crescent Street parking garage, Warren Ave, Howard School, Edgar's Playground, 
Montello Street near Crescent and White Ave, South Street, Whitman School, and well, that's, that's uh, what we have here for now. Let's hope we don't see any snow for a while because I will be back in December, the beginning of December, to kick that month off with a guest. So anyway, again, my name is Ann Beauregard, and I'm the Ward 5 City Councilor, 774-297-4939, and a Beauregard at cobma.us. We'd like to congratulate this um, special um, opportunity for a veterans treatment court that has opened at the War Memorial Building at, that was on Thursday, November 7th. And any way that we can help our veterans is vital. Let's remember that our veterans matter. I always thank a vet for all they've done for us. Thank you all for being here, and there's so much more to tell. Have a wonderful and safe holiday.